Let's go through the vocabulary of reading and setting up a scatter plot. If you look at the plot here on the right, uh, there's a few main elements that we want to look at first. First thing is the two quantitative variables. You'll see there's one on the bottom, education, and one on the left here, uh, income. The one along the bottom, the education, is going to be the explanatory or independent variable. Now, it doesn't mean that whatever is down here necessarily causes the other, but when you have an assumption or a reason to believe that one of them is the explanatory variable, that's the one you're going to put down here. So if you're suggesting that the number of years you go to school will help you, uh, will cause your income, uh, then you would put that down here on the x-axis. Then the y-axis here is the response variable or dependent variable. So it's the one that reacts. It responds to uh, the explanatory variable, in this case education. And then a couple uh, types of points that we want to look at. First one is a influential point. And you'll see this one out here. It's roughly on the trend line. So if you were to draw a trend line that kind of went straight across, uh, it's not necessarily super far off the path, but because it's so far away from the main clump of data, because it's uh, quite a ways out, it carries a lot more influence than a point that would be, let's say, right here in the middle of the pack. These points don't carry as much influence. This one, because of the way the regression formula works inside of the calculators, uh, this point is going to carry more influence. And then finally, outlier. Uh, which is not to be confused with an influential point, they do seem very similar. An outlier is something that is generally very far off the trend line. So in the case of the influential point, it might actually be dead on the trend line, it might be very close to it. The outlier is quite a ways off the beaten path. So an outlier is something that does not follow the pattern. Uh, looking at uh, how to set up a graph here, if you had beach attendance and temperature, you would have to figure out which one is most likely your explanatory variable. Now, to suggest that temperature causes people to go to the beach seems to make sense. Warmer temperatures, whatever. Uh, causing People being at the beach probably do not cause the temperature. So we're going to go just like this here. And so then the explanatory variable is going to be temperature because it explains beach attendance or at least that's what we presume making beach attendance the response since the explanatory variable uh, always goes on the x-axis we'll label it as such here and then the response variable beach attendance always goes on the y-axis so if we're setting that up we have our explanatory and our response we can look at this set of data here so we're given this set of uh, how many people are at the beach and what temperature it is. And we'll see that we can mark our graph. Don't be afraid to put a little break in there. Uh, you're not always going to start at zero, and that's fine. Uh, and then you would plot a dot, a point, for each one of these pairs of values. So if you're doing this by hand, uh, it's pretty straightforward to just put a dot on a piece of graph paper. But generally, we will use a computer.